Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to take a look at Adaptive VPN, which is used with UID. Adaptive VPN will allow us to use multi factor authentication when our users log into the VPN. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support the channel, we do have affiliate links in the description below. First off, I'm into my UID account. And this doesn't work with the basic UID plan. So if you're using basic, you won't see the adaptive VPN. You need to purchase one of their plans or you could do a free trial. In Canada, we only have the basic plans available to us. I'm not sure about the US or the EU. But to apply for a free trial, all we need to do is go to the settings wheel. And once we click on our plan, we could see the workspace plan. We could also see that I'm using UID Cloud Basic and then we could apply for plan add-ons. So by clicking this, it will bring up a whole list of things that we could apply to. Down below, it says, would you like to add any of the following features? And you can see that I've added adaptive VPN as well as adaptive MFA. Now we need to get a VPN created within our UID. As you can tell, I don't have anything configured yet. So we'll click on this one click VPN. And now we're at the setup page. So I'm going to click setup. Now we're at the setup page and it's saying our VPN name. I'll leave it at Mac Telecom VPN. We could assign to all users at the current site if we'd like, which I will do. And then we're asked where we want to deploy it. I'm going to deploy it on my Mac Telecom SE. Down below, we're going to be using OpenVPN and we could sync with the public IP of the Unify OS console. And then we could see my public IP. This is the OpenVPN port that it's going to be working. So if your modem or router isn't in bridge mode, you're going to have to port forward this port towards your UDM Pro or your UDM SE. Now this next section says secure your VPN connection. Configure an adapted VPN policy to secure your VPN, which allows us to put in multi-factor authentication when connecting to that VPN. So that's what we're gonna do. We have this default VPN policy and we'll create our own policy. So I'll press set up. And now the VPN's created, we need to go over to that adaptive VPN policy. Now back on our dashboard, we can see the one-click VPN has been configured. If we wanna go to our policies on the left-hand pane, we could see the shield icon, which is for security. If you just have the basic plan of UID, you won't see this VPN policy there. So you'll need to upgrade your plan. But if we click on the drop down arrow of the VPN policy, we could see that there's the default. Within the default policy, it will just show us a bunch of general information and which VPN is currently using this. If we scroll down below, we have the default rule, the status is active, and then the authentication is not required. So if we were on our UI app right now and we logged on to the VPN, it wouldn't ask us to do any multi-factor authentication. And I'll show you that before we create our own rule. Now I'm logged into the UI app on my Mac Telecom testing account and we can see that I have a VPN available to me. So let me click on that and it will connect to the VPN without us having to use multi-factor authentication. We could see that it's connected. It didn't prompt us to do the multi-factor authentication. Now back within UID, we're gonna create our own VPN policy. We'll add a VPN policy. We'll enter a policy name, I'll just call it MFA. And then we'll add a description, I'll just say MFA for staff. We could have the status turned on or off and then we could have the validity period. So it could be always valid, time range or reoccurring. We're just gonna have this always valid. Under the apply to, we need to add a VPN to this policy. So we'll add the VPN. And it's going to be the only VPN that we have created. And we need to add a rule name. I'll again put MFA just to keep it easy. We'll enable the rule. And then it says, who does this rule apply to? We could have users within VPN assigned, or we could specify a user. I'm just going to specify a user for this video. We could either add a group, we could add a role, or we could add the user. I'll click add user, and then we'll search the username. This will be Mac Telecom test. Here we could see Mac Telecom test, we'll select it and then we'll add the one user. If we want, we could exclude users. We have conditions in action. So if user's IP is anywhere, you could set this inside zone, outside zone, and we may touch on that in a different video. Now under MFA, this is where we're gonna tell them which MFA we want them to use. So we could use any factor or we could specify a factor. I did specify factors so we could use UI verify push. We could do UI verify, we could do a security question. We do SMS and we could do email authentication. I'm going to leave it at UI verify push. Now under the VPN rules, we could see that I have MFA, which has priority one, and it does require authentication through UI verify. So let's connect back to UI and see if the VPN makes us do the MFA. Now we're back on the UI app. Let's tap on that VPN and see if it pushes the MFA. And we can see here that it's asking us to send a verification prompt. So I'm gonna click on that. 
And it's saying that it's trying to connect to VPN, Mac Telecom Network's VPN, and if we're going to allow it. So I'm going to say, yes, it's me. And now we can see that the VPN is connected after doing the MFA. So that's it for Unify UID Adaptive VPN. I really like that they brought this feature to UID. I have some customers that require multi-factor authentication on their VPN, so this will be a great solution. One thing I'd like to see is the Adaptive VPN being pushed to the UDM Pros or the SEs without requiring UID. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.